Hello everyone. Um, I'm just making this video uh, as for a, just advice for people who are new to the gym that are never been to the gym. Uh, needs then want to start working out but just don't know how to go about it or to go to the gym or just don't know how to go about it. But mostly for people who are disabled. Um, that's what I'm mostly gonna touch on, like paraplegics, quadriplegics, people who just have a hard time doing some physical things. But uh, I just wanted to make this video because I think I have some good advice that could help out with some people. I hope this reach this reaches people it needs to reach and help motivate people to go to the gym. I'm not gonna give um, workout advice or not to like, or how, I'm not gonna tell you how to work out or um, what to eat or anything like that. That comes with time and as you go to the gym, you learn these things or as you um, just involve yourself with health, fitness, culture, you just learn these things over time. So don't even worry about that. Just my number one advice is just get in and start somehow. Somehow just start going to the gym. Um, once you get in, you'll like it. Um, as long as you stick to it, you just gotta give it some time now and you'll see results and you uh, trust me, you'll just like it. But, um, I just want to touch up like with okay first with new people coming to the gym and that you don't know how to go about it. My um my I think some good I think something good would be is to go with someone have someone who's pretty experienced um go take you to the gym and you work out with them so you don't feel like you don't know what you're doing you don't want to you don't want to look stupid of course so that's why you go with someone who's experienced. Uh, yeah, because you don't, no one ever wants to look stupid, no matter where you're at, or you don't want to be embarrassed, you'll be put in an awkward situation, so go with someone who, uh, who's experienced, and, um, yeah, so, I mean, you won't have to worry about, um, looking stupid or anything like that, uh, but for me, or for paraplegics or disabled people, that's a, that's really important, in my opinion, to go with someone, Especially an able-bodied person, because at, at first I was I wanted to go to the gym. I I really wanted to, but I just didn't know how to go about it, and I was really nervous going getting back into it, because I was just I was honestly scared. I wasn't scared, but I was just like I just was nervous how people would think about like think, like when they see me. Like well, I was just kind of I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I just I just had an awkward feeling of like he'll be looking at me. I was worried. I was worried about how I look when I really shouldn't, but it's never. I don't know. It was just a little concerned, but what I did is I went with one of my I went with one of my closest friends who uh, he just helped me get in there. He just said, "Hey, let's go to the gym." Well, we were planning on it, but he's like, he picked this day, and I was I was think, I was honestly thinking about not going, but if he didn't text me that day, I if he didn't text me that day, I probably wouldn't have went to the gym. But because he hit me up, I got in the gym. I've been going to the gym pretty consistently for the past month or so, and uh, it's been great. But uh. Yeah, especially uh, people who are quadriplegics, paraplegics, whatever, disabled people. If you are disabled due to an injury or something like that, before you start working out, I recommend being cleared by um, being cleared by your doctor to work out because you don't want to make something worse, especially uh, if you had surgeries or depending on what the injury was. Um, and know, know your body, know yourself, know if you're healthy to work out. Uh, for I'll use my my case for example. I was in a really bad motorcycle accident. I broke a lot of bones in my back. I have a lot of hardware in there. Got two rods like this long and uh, like twelve screws or something like that. So um, I have to I had to talk to my neurosurgeon uh, who did my surgery. Uh, I had to ask him. I had to keep in contact with him uh, so I know when to start working out. And he did over time since my injury he did a, a ct scans and various uh x-rays and stuff like that to see my uh how i'm healing up and to see when i can start working out or see my semi limit like see what limitations i would have and over time um he would set limitations like 10 pound lift limit 20 pound and it, it kept getting better than eventually where i got to no no lift limits i can just i have no limitations at all I can do whatever I want, basically. But you gotta you gotta talk to your doctor, make sure you're healthy and know your body, and then you don't want to go into the gym with any like injuries because it's just it's just gonna make it worse and it's gonna put a bad taste in, in your mouth about the gym 
and you don't want that. You want to go in fresh, healthy, and ready to work out. Uh, and then once you know you're healthy, you want to, so you want to go to the gym with the partner and you want to, I'd recommend, the reason why I recommend going with the partner because if you're a paraplegic or disabled or whatever physical impairment you have, there's a few reasons. One, it's fun. It's more enjoyable to work out with a partner and um, it makes going to the gym fun and a good time, especially in the beginning when you really need it. But once you're like experienced, you won't need to go with anyone and the gym is just a normal thing for you. But it makes the gym fun and it's uh, more enjoyable and all that. Sorry, I'm just doing pressure relief. For those paraplegics out there, you need to do pressure relief. Never forget. Very important. But uh, yeah, so go with a partner because they can help make the gym enjoyable. Someone you like, someone close. And also, when you're doing you're doing transfers, so you got to have someone there in case you fall and uh, you're not that good at... Tra- well, if, if you want, before you go to the gym, make sure you're pretty decent at transfers because you don't want to fall over all the time and have them pick you up all the time. Um... Even though I'm, I'm pretty, like I'm, I'm pretty good at transfers, but I just fell over. I fell over a few times at the gym, and one, one time I got myself back up, and but the other times I had my friend because it's just easier for him just pick me back up. And uh, even, see, even though I'm experienced, I fall over. You just, you just never know. But yeah, that's another reason. So you, it's safer, and they can help you get on and off machines, and especially with um, at the gym because this equipment is not designed for people like us. So these tra- the transfers are tricky, and you gotta figure it out. And they're hard transfers. And yeah, so it's safer and it's more enjoyable to go with a partner. And yeah, because these transfer, sorry. Yeah, so these are really tricky transfers. You don't want to be falling over all the time, and. And it's gonna you want to learn these transfers over time because like getting on this equipment like I said it's not made for people like us so you want to getting on is is very sometimes very difficult but um you want to do it slow and have someone there beside you so when you fall or you don't fall you just have someone there for safety reasons obviously and make sure if uh I'm pretty sure paraplegics know this but uh, anyone in the wheelchair knows this that you want to wear the right clothes because a lot of times your pants falls when you're doing a lot especially when you do a lot of transfers especially in the gym every time I go to the gym sometimes I forget um, I, uh, I my pants slips on me and my, my butt's showing but uh, I always time it not, I mean after the first few times I, I, I remember most of the time to what do you call it uh, time my sweats or because I go with sweatpants so I time my sweats or once it gets warm, I will go in shorts. But anyway, you want to make sure you tie your sh- uh, shorts or whatever you're wearing pretty tight. So uh, you don't have any butt cracks or butt showing or cheeks showing, whatever. And um, another piece of advice that I have um, before um, before going to the gyms, because uh, you're doing a lot of movements, if you're, I, I don't know with other disabled people, with paraplegics and uh, quadriplegics, whatever, we we don't have control of our bladders, so, and you know, like, so you, so before you go to the gym, because you're moving a lot, I would recommend using the bathroom um, before you go to the gym. Because when you're doing you do a lot of movement, sometimes leak uh, you can leak out a little bit. You know, it's not it's not good, or you can just have an accident. So I recommend before going to the gym, use like use the bathroom, cath, whatever you got to do. And you just don't want an accident at the gym. It's not a it's not a good time. Um, because you're doing a lot of movement transfers, you're putting pressure on your bladder, cause some leakage, and if you have spastic bladder, you already know it can just It'll make it spasm even more, so that's something to keep note. Also, uh, I just wanted to reiterate that um, just get to the gym, preferably with a partner, because once you get in, and it's 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 important to get to the gym, especially as a 
someone who's in a wheel who's in a chair it's important for your for your health to stay fit and active because one of the most dangerous things for someone in a wheelchair is to put on weight a few reasons one it's not it's not healthy to be fat in any sense of in any overweight in any sense of whatever um also it's um it's hard to do transfers it's bad on your um it's it's just it's not healthy for you it's just just being a wheel in a wheelchair and putting putting on weight is not a good it's not a good thing you're uh hard to just use a wheelchair in general you don't want to you don't want to be you don't want to be putting a power trip you don't have to because it puts more limitations on where you can fit places you can go so you don't want that but um what else what was i gonna say um oh yeah so i just if you're just before you go to before you start working out make sure you're healthy also just if you're that's what, the reason why i say go with someone because you might not want to and that person's going to help motivate you and once you start going you will like the gym you will learn more about fitness culture and all that stuff about healthy eating and how to properly work out come over time so don't even worry about that just get in the gym and start working out because you will become healthier, see results, and you become more motivated. And it will just, it'll make your life better, honestly. And you'll have more energy. You'll meet cool people. People will be inspired by you because they'll see someone who's in a wheelchair or, um, or just some sort of disability and they'll become motivated. And you'll meet a lot of, you'll meet a lot of cool people who are really just, They'll, they'll like to talk to you because you have such an interesting story or background. And, they, and they'll think to themselves, if this person can do it, I don't have an excuse. And it will just keep them motivated. As long as you keep going, you'll keep other people motivated around you. And it's just it's just an overall positive thing. There's not I don't think there's one negative of me of just going to the gym in general. You, I mean, you get healthier, you look better, you feel better. You're come in healthier i mean i can't think of any negatives but like i'll just use my personal um case whatever so i started going to the gym met a lot of cool people i've had a few people come talk to me and say like how it's uh motivational to see me in the gym or whatever or how it's pretty cool that, I start, that i'm working out like even though i'm in a wheelchair or whatever and i've had a, a number of people not too many, but a few, a few people come up to me and say things like that. It's pretty, so it's pretty cool to say because it motiv- it's, it's a cool thing for you. It um, it motivates you. It keeps it's a just a good like uplifting thing, you know. And uh, yeah, I mean, it just feels good when people compliment you, of course, and uh, it it makes them feel good for them to probably compliment us. It's just a nice thing. It's just all around good stuff. Um, that's why I recommend going. Sorry, I'm not the best with my words, but yeah, it's just it's just good to go to the gym and no no negatives, all positives, good things. Uh, is there anything I can touch up on at the end? Oh yeah. So if you're paraplegic, I recommend go bring equipment with you. Like uh, like what I use a lot is the seatbelt that I got from my rehab hospital. I use this when I strap into like, uh, put it around my waist usually. I'll strap into a piece of equipment and hold me there because I'm a T6. So from here down, from below my chest, I'm paralyzed and I have no ab- I have no core control. So if I'm sitting in something that's not in my wheelchair, I'm very unstable. So this helps keep me very stable and um, keeps me safe and able to do um, things, a lot of workouts because of this, that I'm able to do like uh, a lot of, like s- the benches that sit up, like a lot of curls, um, presses, various presses, like shoulder press, well, a lot of pressing movements and just a lot of dumbbell stuff. If you're, I mean, you, st- you still may need it if you're if you have more core or whatever, it just keeps, it's just a safety precaution. Also bring a bag because I mean you might need other stuff. Like I keep this these straps go in the back of my chair. So I put these straps in the back of my chair. And uh 
I'll just keep stuff. Keep, uh, keep various things with me. I mean, it's just good to have. You can just put whatever in here, like uh, seat belts, catheters, whatever you need. Just put them back of your chair. You never need it. You can just go around, and grab it. But yes, I recommend whatever. I'm, I mean, everyone has a different equipment. Let's see, just hooks on right there. I can just keep my belt there and stuff. But yeah, I mean, everyone's probably got different equipment, so whatever, whatever you need. Uh, yeah. So, want to reiterate? Get to the gym. Wear proper clothing. Make sure it's tight. Um, use the bathroom before you go to the gym. I'm not sure if I said bring proper, bring the right equipment. Bring a partner. It'll make the gym fun, especially if you're a newcomer. Just get in the gym, and most importantly, be consistent. So I would say start off going at the least, at the least four times a week. I go. I, my goal is five to seven times a week. Um, that's my goal. But um, my class, I usually go five times a week because of class. I have class two days, and they take up the majority of my my day. Uh, and I currently can't drive right now, but I mean, that's personal issue. So if I could drive, I'd probably go six or seven times a week, to be honest. But um, at least four times a week. I say that because, um, I don't know, I'm just old school. I like hard work. Uh, I, rec I just say go as much as you can if you want, um, unless you have other obligations. But yeah, so get to the gym, bring a partner, use the bathroom, make sure you're healthy. Um, make sure you could buy a doctor to work out because if you're, especially if you're weightlifting, well, more than likely if you go to the gym, you're going to be weightlifting, whatever. So, cause you're going to be pushing a lot of weight and especially if you have hardware in your body, you don't want to mess it up and all that. But, uh, yeah, uh, get to the gym. Really hope you enjoy it. I really hope that this video helped you and I'm sorry it's long, but, uh, I think I probably could have made it shorter. Um. I should have wrote down a script or something or more planned out, but I just had to make it just came to my head, so I just had to make this video. Um, yeah, hope you get to the gym, like it, stay healthy, uh, enjoy it. I don't know. Peace.